opinions voiced in this program are for general information only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendation for any individual. To determine which investments may be appropriate for you, consult with your attorney, accountant, financial advisor, or tax advisor prior to investing. Securities are offered through LPL Financial, member F-I-N-R-A-S-I-P-C. Hi folks, I'm Dave Workman, and I hope in the next two or three minutes I can help you become a better investor. This month, I've decided to discuss some of the pillars, some of the foundational elements of my recommendations to people. The second one is that lifestyle, lifestyle, living within your means and time, giving long-term investments the time they need to grow are much, much, much more important than picking the right stock or picking the right type of investment. I've learned these over the years by a number of things. One, I've been very fortunate with a number of clients that have lived within their means, that they've saved, that they've given long-term investments when we discussed it, the time to grow so that back in the uh, 87 when the market went down around 22 percent a day they didn't bail out or 2001 when we had a tech bubble didn't bail out or even 2007 to 2009 stayed with the long-term investment wouldn't let short-term gyrations even the the Great Recession change their investment philosophy I've learned it from a book called the millionaire next door great book for young people to read and it basically talks about people saving more than what they make, eating less than what they harvest, not taking all of your crops, saving some of them, living within your means. And <laughs> I uh, remember a story about my wife Beth and I. Before Beth and I got married in 1983, I bought a waterbed made out of pine. You could literally push your finger through it. And I can't remember, but it was about 22, 23% interest on it, or wholesalers. And they've shown me, when I was just young in this business, long-term track records. And, and, and past performance is no guarantee of future performance. But I'll also say that I believe Ben Franklin said, show me what you've done before you tell me what you're going to do. And we've let those investments accumulate. And these individuals have been mortared with great wealth. And finally, my wife, Beth. I can tell you multiple stories about when we were first starting off. But Beth would always encourage our house, save. We're going to save some. Whether it was starting savings accounts for our kids, uh, using mutual funds with $25 a month, or other ways that we did it personally. So, living within your means. Your lifestyle. And giving what are supposed to be long-term investments long-term, to me, is the second principle, the second fundamental of my philosophy when I talk to folks. I'll look forward to talking with you next week about the third leg of the four legs of my investment principles. Thank you.